evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great day, but boy, it is hot on this stage. Yes. <laughs> Mr. President, next time, turn the air conditioner on up here. Let me say to you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great day. It's a new day. I'm 60 years old today. It's my birthday. This morning at Eastside Charter School, I was sworn in as the 55th mayor of the city of Wilmington, Delaware. Well, once I was sworn in, I inherited budget deficits, crime, union contracts, unemployment, 60% high school dropout rate, AIDS pandemic, lawsuits facing me, new ones coming, picked up two more today, <laughs> dirty streets, potholes, and many other problems. But let me say to you, ladies and gentlemen, we have put a team of people together that can handle the problem. Yesterday is gone, and tomorrow's ours. We are not going to look at the past. We're not going to cry foul. We're going to get out, roll our sleeves up, and do our job, because this is what I took on to do. I didn't come down here to blame anyone. My position is this. I knew what I was getting when I ran for office. As my wife told me, you know what you're getting into. Before I go any further, I want to say, my wife of 38 years, Shane, thank you. <laughs> to my three lovely daughters, Shonda, Amanda, she's not here, but Lauren, Amanda was with us this morning. Thank you. This morning, we had a great time at Eastside Charter. We had, had so many kids there, so many folks that, that came out this morning, and we had a great time, and we really, really took it to the house. Pastor Beeman, I see you sitting there, sir. This is my pastor. I want to recognize Sylvester Scott Beeman, Bevel AME. We have many areas that we're going to go into. Number one will be crime. We campaigned on, on a crime issue in the city of Wilmington. 98% of our residents talked about that was the number one issue for them. Almost 97% of our businesses talked about crime in this city. We will fight crime with a vigor, ladies and gentlemen, and I meant what I said. I'm not hugging thugs. We will go after violent offenders with everything that we have. We will reform the Wilmington Police Department. We will aggressively target violent areas. We will aggress aggressively target violent offenders. We will improve police and community relations. We have a gun problem in this city that's a beyond reproach. We have a homicide rate that's in this city beyond reproach. A city with a 9.5 mile geographical area, it is totally, totally ridiculous for the crime problem to be the way it is in a city so small. The Williams administration, you give us about six to seven months, you're going to see a dent in this. We're going to come out in full force. You give us two years, you won't even think it's the same city. We will work very diligently for folks who want to put their guns down and turn their life around. We will give them an opportunity to come home because they are our customers. They still live in the city of Wilmington. We have to help folks who don't want to commit crime, get them back in GED programs, get businesses who come to our city to train these folks and put these folks to work. But if these folks do not want to comply, we will arrest them. We will go after them. We will get the guns off the street because citizens who reside in this city should not be held captive. They shouldn't feel unsafe. They shouldn't feel that their kids can't go to the swimming pool. They shouldn't feel that their kids can't go to the playground. Our senior citizens should be able to sit on steps and read newspapers. They shouldn't have to run home from the bus stop. And if I don't clean this up, I don't need this seat. We will review the way we spend our money to the very last dime. We will look at every contract. We will dissect it. Any contract where we find duplication, the one that's performing the best will stay. The one that's not performing will be eliminated. We will also look at contracts that have been around numerous years. We will look at some of the things that have been privatized. We will bring them back in-house. We will save money. The Williams administration doesn't have to give contracts out because we don't owe anybody any favors. 
we will look at everything we possibly can to get our budget back in order to stop the hemorrhaging of your tax dollars. We're to a point in this city that if we don't get things together and get things changed, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. I'll be facing a $4.5 million deficit, which we plan to go after with a vigor. We will cut, we will eliminate, again, contracts, waste. We will not have numerous vendors doing the same thing that one vendor can do. We will look at eliminating contracts where we have out of state people doing our booting, which we have people in this city that can do that job. We are not going to tax our citizens to the point where they lose their residences when we have corporations owing us millions of dollars. This administration will be open, fair, honest, and we want to be a team player. We want to work with everyone. We want to work with city council. We want to work with them side by side to get this city turned around. We will work with the General Assembly where I still have a lot of friends and a great reputation where I can go down and not ask the governor for an appointment. I can go down and get funding for our city because they know it's going to be spent properly and the right way for things to be done properly in our city. I have great respect in Washington, D.C., and one of the things I do understand is the budget process in the state of Delaware. I do understand joint finance. I understand the bond bill. I understand grant need. No one has to come to me and give me a budget and tell me where something is. I already know where it is. I know where all the pots of money are, so no one can pull a shell game on Dennis P. Williams, the mayor of the city of Wilmington. We will take our Parks and Recreations Department and we will implement new programs. We've hired young folks. We've hired Sean Allen, a young man who was involved in the YES program. He's been dealing with adjudicated children who's been involved with firearms. We have to change the concept, the way we use Parks and Recreations. It's not a basketball league anymore. Someone running up and down the court with a football or a basketball. It's about going in, tutoring children, turning children's lives around, putting them in a tutorial program, getting them involved and things in their community, getting them involved in job training, and letting them understand that carrying a firearm is nothing but sudden death or going to prison. These are the things now that we're going to be doing with our youth. We're going to be reaching out to them, opening the swimming pools two weeks prior to the school closing. Instead of, thank you. Instead of waiting two weeks after they come out and open it up, and people say, how are you going to do this? Stop making excuses for finding money to do something with you. Stop making excuses for finding something to do something with youth. We got to stop it. People keep talking about you don't have the money. Well, you, you're always happy we build prisons. People talk about that. We will work diligently, again, with our, our federal delegation. These are the folks that we're going to need to get this city turned around also. We're going to have to reach out. It's going to have to be a multi-team player. And I say to city council president and the city council folks sitting here tonight, my door is always open. I am not up on a pedestal. I am not a god. I am a mortal man who was elected by God and the people of the city of the city and Wilmington. I want to work with you, each and every one of you. And I think 99.9% .9 of us all are of the same party. There is no reason why we can't get anything done. Thanks a lot, Mayor. <laughs> Like that, didn't you? <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I want to say Wilmington is a great city. We can do this. We can get out of this deficit. We can get out of this rut. We can stop the crime. We cannot let the media define our city. We cannot let people who don't reside in this city define our city. Wilmington is still a good city. People can come to this city. We now have all types of entertainment, the movie theaters, the Grand Opera House, 
all kinds of other cultural arts, the jazz concert, and many more things are gonna come. But we have to hold our heads up high as citizens of this city and respect one another. When you see trash in front of your house, don't step over it. Pick it up. When you know the young man down the street is not going to school, don't keep avoiding it. Call the parent. If you think the parent may argue with you, write a note, slip it in the door. If you see someone committing crime, you don't have to go down there and tell the police you saw it. Make a phone call, go to a phone booth so the number won't be traced back. Tell what you saw and say you don't want to get involved. Because if you continue to turn your head on crime and other major issues going on in our city, we are going to have the same continuous problems. God bless you all. Thank you.